to solve another lead code problem. 16, 74, minimum moves to make a array complementary. So we are giving an integer array norms of even length n and an integer limit. In one move, we can replace any integers from norms with another integer between one two limits. So this means um, we have an integer. Yeah. So let's let's just use some examples. Maybe uh, this one one two three four. Uh, let me clear up about this area. So it's gonna be one two four three maybe. Yeah. So for each operation, so the length of the array gonna be uh the even length. So n uh, gonna be an uh, even number, and uh, we can choose the first and the last uh, uh, number. So for example, this is one and three. And but we can also do uh, change the numbers. So the array is complementary if for all indices. So for example, this is uh, uh, 0, this is n minus uh, 0, minus 1, this is n minus 1. So this is the index 0, and this is the index n minus 1. Yeah, it's complementary. So this is complementary because 1 plus 4 equals to 2 plus 5. Yeah, because we're going to choose the value 5. But we can also replace the numbers, because in one move, we can replace any integer from nums with another integer. So for example, we can replace this one to another integer. It is just between one, two limit. So for this example, it is a, a one, two, four. Yeah. So definitely, we can change this uh, integer from one to uh, one, two, four. Yeah. And also for this three, we can, we can change it from one to uh, from 3 to 1 to 4. Yeah, definitely we have a lot of choices. So the problem bec becomes, uh, for each of the operation, definitely we need to choose the two numbers. So for the first operation, we're going to choose the numbers like 1 and 3. And for the second operation, we're going to choose the numbers of 2 and 4. But we don't know what is the final result of the two numbers. So for example, if the two numbers are going to be uh, the final, yeah, uh, if the two numbers is just uh, with A and B, yeah, but we don't know what is going to be the final result after the operations of A and B. Let's just make it maybe, maybe X, yeah, because this A can become 1, or this B can also become 1. This means the minimum num value of the X is going to be 2. And what is the maximum number? Because A for maximum, it can be limit L, and B also L. So this means that the maximum number for this X is 2L, and the minimum number for this X is 2. And this X just means uh, if I find two numbers, A and B, after the replace operation, and what is the minimum, and what is the maximum number? Definitely the minimum number is 2, the maximum number is 2L. But in between, it can have some other numbers just in between 2 and 2 times L. Yeah. We just need to check how many operations. So if the sum of them is 2, so how many operations? Yeah. So for, for this A and B, if the sum of them is 2, basically it means we're going to have two operations. So we can let A become 1, or we can let B become, become 1. Yeah, let's just imagine that A and B may be it should be more than and equal to 1, and b is also more than and equal to 1. But definitely a is not 1, because if a is more than 1, so for example a is 2, b is also more than and equal to 1, b is also to 2. So how can we let 2 plus 2 becomes 2? So we can reduce this 2 to 1, and another 2 to 1, we can let it become 2. So this means we're going to have two operations. Yeah. So what about if the limit is 4? We want to have the 2 times limit, it, it's going to be 8. How many operations for this 2 and 2? We can let this 2 become 4, another 2 become 4. There are also two, two operations. Yeah. So and this is going to be easier. If uh, the final result is 2 or 2 times L, definitely we need two operations. What is just in between? Yeah, let's just use another line to explain every cases. So from the beginning, uh, we have a 2. At the end, we're going to have a 2L. Yeah. So this is going to be the value of x. x is the value of a plus b after 
the replace operations. It can be one or it can be two. So this is the two L. So definitely in between there's some point which is A plus B. So if the value is A plus B, this means we don't, do not need to have any operation. Yeah, because A plus B is itself, we don't need to have any operation. But now at the left side of A and B and at the right side of A and B, A plus B, there must be some other points we need to find. Because definitely at this place, we need zero operations. And at this place, we need two operations. And here, we also need two operations. Definitely in between to zero or in between zero to two, there's some point which is which we only need one operation. Because at here we need two operations. Maybe we go to left, go to left. At some position, maybe we just need one operation. We just need to find it. Yeah. And also from here, this is zero. At some point, we need one operation. And then it becomes two operations. Yeah. Because this is contiguous. Yes. Because if you analyze the problem, we need to fix this A plus B after the operations, it is X. And we're going to think about whether we can use a binary search to solve the problem. Definitely, this is not monotonic increasing. We cannot use a binary search to solve it. And we have to use some other idea. So that is the difference array. So for the difference array idea, we just need to draw a line and find the, all the separate points. Yeah. So definitely here is 2, here is 0, here is 2. We need to find some other points. Now, we need to fix the, uh, we need to check the minimum value of A and B and the maximum value of A and B. So we're going to choose the minimum value of A and B going to be A and the maximum value of A and B going to be B. So this means B going to be more than equal to A for those two numbers. So for example, this is 1 and this is 3. So we're going to choose the minimum number as A. So A equal to 1 and B equal to 3. Yeah. Now, we're going to find some other points. Maybe at this prison, we, we do not need to have two operations or zero operations. We just need to have one operation. Yeah. So maybe we're going to try to check this A. Yeah. So if the sum of A and B after operation, if it is A, Let's just check if it is possible or not. So we have two numbers, A and B. So we can fix A. Now, for this B, B is going to have a value at least 1. Yeah, because definitely B cannot be 0. And B should be more than or equal to A. So if the minimum value of B is, we can change this B to 1. So the, what is the minimum value of A and B for the final result? If, yeah, so it's going to be A plus uh, 1. Yeah, if we have one operation. Because definitely at this position, we have, if A is here, definitely we need, uh, we need two operations. So this is a 2 and this is A. We need two operations. Yeah. But uh, we need to find a point where, it is, uh, uh, where there's only one operation. So definitely it is after this A. So it's going to be A plus 1. So if uh, this is A plus 1, this means we need one operation. Yeah, because A, we're going to fix it. And for B, we can change B to 1. So this A plus 1 is going to be the minimum operation if we have only one operation. So it's going to be A plus 1. So it means from here, it is a 2. And for this A plus 1, we need 2 minus 1. This means we're going to have one operation. And for here, we want to, uh, we want to A plus 1 become 0. So it means from here, we're going to have another minus 1 for our difference array. So after that, it's going to be a plus b, and the value is going to be more than a plus b. So we're going to choose the maximum value of a plus b after the operation. So we're going to fix b and let a become the limit. So we're going to find another point. So it's going to be b plus the limit l. Yeah. So what is the b plus limit l? So we have two numbers a and b, and we can let a become the limit. So there's a uh, there's a one one operation right because we can let a uh, become l and we're gonna fix b. So th this means from here there's one operation, yeah. But but from here this is a plus b. So it means after a plus b it's gonna be a plus b plus one. So from here we're gonna have one operation because we're gonna um we're gonna uh, fix A and let let B become B, B plus 1, that should be okay. Or 
uh, we're gonna fix b and let a become a plus one. But definitely after this position, uh, definitely we need uh, one operation. Yeah, because for a b, if we do not do any operation, how can we let it become a plus b plus one? Definitely we need at least one operation to make it a plus b plus one. Yeah. So this means from this point we're gonna have uh, uh, one operation. So uh, let me clear up a little bit. Yeah. So uh, this is a plus b plus one, and we need one more operation. It means here gonna be a plus one. Yeah. So for here, this is b plus l. It means we still have one more operation, so we do not need to do anything. But after that, so it's gonna be b plus l plus one. So at this position. It means we're gonna have two operations. Yeah, because for b plus l plus one here, uh, we have a and b. Yeah, so if we fix b, let's just imagine if we fix b because b is the maximum. What about a? We can let a becomes l. That is one operation, but it can never become b plus l plus one. We have to do another operation. We're gonna let b becomes b plus one. So if it is less than, uh, yeah, if this b plus one is also less than or equal to the limit, so it means from here, we're gonna have one more operation. So we're gonna plus a one. But after b plus l plus one, all those areas it gonna become two operations. So we don't care because for the difference array, there's no increase or decrease. So we will we don't care about that after that. So from here, it is a 2, and then minus 1, minus 1, plus 1, plus 1. Yeah, and those 5 points is what we need to solve our problem. So those 5 points. So it is a 2, a plus 1, a plus b plus 1, b plus l plus 1. We just need to, yeah, uh, I forget to check the a plus b, and there is also a plus b. So in total, there will be um, 5 points. We're going to use the 5 points to solve the problem. Yeah. So let me list the five points. It's going to be two. Uh, with, uh, yeah. So for two, it's going to be a plus two, and after that, it's going to be a plus one. So it's going to be a minus one. So this means from here, it's going to be plus one, and then uh, we're going to have uh, a plus b. So it's going to be a minus one, and after that, yeah. Let me put it uh, like this. And uh, after that, we're gonna have a plus b um, plus one. Yeah. So it's gonna be uh, minus one. Uh, yeah. From here, it's gonna be a uh, plus one. Yeah. Because here, plus two, minus one, minus one, it's gonna become zero. And a plus b plus one, definitely we need one operation. So we're gonna need use a plus one. So after that, it's gonna be uh, b plus l plus one. So l is limit. So we're gonna use another um, plus one, yeah. So this is gonna be the all the operations for the difference array. So this means for preparing the difference array, basically we need to prepare two uh, l plus two because this b can become l. So uh, for the difference array, the maximum gonna be two l plus two. So let's just prepare the difference array. So it's gonna be zero on times. 2 times limit and plus a 2. So this is just for this one because this is going to be the biggest value, biggest index we're going to choose. This is going to be L, 2L plus 1. Yeah, so for preparing the difference array, we're going to use the 2 limit plus 2. Now we need to check the length of the array. It's going to be the length of the uh, nums. And we are going to um, check all of them. We just enumerate all of them. So it's going to be n divided by 2. Uh, but why this method works, let me just explain uh, more about it. Uh, this method works because for each of the time, you know, there will be the different positions, but it will be different. So for example, this is A for the, f for the first, first and the last number, so for this 1 and 3. Uh, here we're going to have uh, maybe A plus B. Here maybe A plus B. Uh, Yeah, here maybe um, b plus limit. Yeah, and here maybe two l. And for another one, for another line, it may be different, but it is always inside of the difference array. Maybe a is here. Maybe a plus b is here. It doesn't matter. Yeah, maybe b plus l is here. 
uh, maybe uh, but uh, but the two L's would be fixed yeah because this L is fixed so uh, let me prepare the 2L. So 2L will be the same position here. So this is going to be the 2L. Yeah. yeah. But no matter how the A or A plus B or B plus L, it is changed. But it, it is all those points should always be less than or equal to L and more than and equal to 2. 2 is here. Yeah. So this means we can use a difference array. We can calculate it, prepare a difference array, and then we can use the prefix sum. Maybe at some other points, maybe at this point we're going to have a biggest number, maybe this is 5. Maybe at some other points, maybe here we're going to have the minimum number, maybe this is a 2. So this means we're going to have the uh, minimum operations, it's going to be 2. But for our example, it is 1. Yes. I think uh, uh, this is going to be uh, y, we're going to use the difference array. Yeah, now let's just prepare all the operations for the difference array. So for the 2, it's going to be f2 plus equal to 2. And f a plus one is going to be here, so it's going to be uh, minus. Yeah, we're going to use the minus equal to one, and uh, f a plus b is going to be minus equal to one. And uh, f a plus b plus one going to be plus equal to one, and uh, f b plus uh, uh, limit. Um, plus one, gonna be plus equal to one. Yeah. Finally, uh, we need to check the prefix sum of the difference array. It's gonna be f, but we don't need to choose the first two numbers. I mean, uh, the index zero and one, because the number gonna be at least two. Yeah. And finally, uh, we're gonna choose the minimum of the prefix sum for the difference array. And this is going to be the entire code. As you can see that the coding is uh, not too long, but for the calculation, it's going to be really difficult. I mean, if you didn't solve this problem, problem before, definitely you cannot think about this kind of idea easily. Yeah, and the, the difficult part is uh, that you have to find all those points. So for example, this is a 2, this is a, a, you have to find a plus 1, and you have to find a plus b, a plus b plus 1, and you have to find a point b plus l plus 1, because actually this is a, this point, b plus l plus 1. Yeah, but you need to find b plus l before you find b plus l plus 1. And similarly, you need to find a before you find a plus 1. Yeah, definitely you need to find the critical points. So there are five critical points, and we need to use a difference array to do the calculations for the five critical points on the line. Now let me just run it to check. Um, yeah, because for here I used A and B, but I didn't prepare this A and B. So A going to be the minimum of uh, numbers i, uh, which is the last number, and going to be n minus i minus 1. And B going to be the maximum of the two numbers. Uh, let me just copy and paste. Now let me just submit it to prove uh, it really works. Yeah, as you can see, it's really fast and it works, and the time complexity is going to become O n, and n is 10 to the power of 5. And for such problem, actually, it's really difficult. Uh, there's no easy way to solve it without doing the similar problem first. We have to solve the similar problem first. I mean, this kind of a pattern, definitely we need the difference array, and we need the um, calculations for the 1D uh, difference array. It is not by two values. Actually, there will be a lot of values we have to find. And for this one, actually, we find five points on the line uh, to, to do the calculation. And we have to uh, find the minimum value and the maximum value first. And then we're going to um, prepare the difference array. I think that's all for it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.